Hello everybody, my name is Jared and welcome to Jared Gaming. Welcome to a game called Paul's Lost Remains. Don't know what this game's about, never played it before, but before we dive in, if you're new here and you've not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button before moving on further with this video. Now let's begin, shall we? Oh, what did I just hear? That was the sound of a man stepping on his final Lego. Was that Paul screaming? How do you know what Paul sounds like screaming? I have to check up on him. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, Paul, I told you not to bring Chipotle. Where is Paul gone? And what is all this blood? I have to find him. Are you sure it's blood? I mean, there's a can with what looks like is maybe tomato sauce. I think maybe he just was trying to make spaghetti in the woods. I mean, who who hasn't tried to do that, right? Everyone knows spaghetti in the woods is the, the bee's knees. Where is it the same thing? Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, seems like we have a very convenient path of light. But I'm assuming we should just follow nice spooky woods where the trees are sparsed ever so evenly apart and far apart from each other. Uh-oh... What is that? You picked up Paul's right arm? No! <laughs> are we just gonna like see through PO this guy's remains onto my backpack or something? Like how are we care? How am I? How is this working for us? I see something over there, but I feel like I should follow the um the light and pick up the rest of Paul's body parts. <laughs> what is this? No! You picked up Paul's. <laughs> <laughs> it's because that's totally normal. It's totally normal to pick up the remains of your best friend. Just two dudes out in the woods picking up each other's body parts. No innuendo. What have we? Wait, what? Is that a, that's a cross? Was Paul crucified and then freaking torn to pieces? Cross. That is what that is. You placed Paul's chest on the cross. But why? Ah, uh, what else did I have? A leg? You placed Paul's right oh, arm on the cross. Oh my gosh, this is freaking weird now. I mean, to be fair, it was weird when we were picking up our friend's body parts, but now it's weird that we're placing them on a cross without any prompt. Like, we're just doing it. Like, we know this is what we need to do. We were born for this. Sorry, Paul, I've been waiting so many years to put your pieces on a freaking cross in the woods. That's just weird. Who who lit these candles? Another arm. And what's the sound we're hearing when we pick up his his um his body parts? Is that his spirit? Is this his head? Oh hey, Paul. <laughs> you picked up Paul's head? I wish I could run though. It's quite a bit of ground to cover of that, the ability to run, unfortunately. Okay, I'm gonna go... I think we're still missing some pieces. At least another leg or something? Or maybe his legs? I don't know. We're missing stuff, though. But there's nothing here. Or is this just a really long path to body parts? Wait a minute. Did we just make a big circle somehow? How even? How did I do that? That's weird. Okay, I don't know. We're missing. We're missing pieces still. He placed Paul's left arm on the cross, uh, and I placed Paul's head on the cross. Oh, Paul. Oh, Paul. What have they done to you? I need to find more of Paul. Okay, I mean, I'm trying. I was on the path. And then all of a sudden, I ended up right back where I was somehow. Ah, here we go. Finally, <laughs> picked up Paul's right leg. And if I'm lucky, his other leg will be right over here. Look at that. That'll do it. We got all of Paul's pieces. Paul's Pieces. An autobiography. Alright, are we resurrecting our friend Paul? Like, maybe maybe that's our job. We're some sort of, like, secret occultist, and we know. We've seen the cross, we saw the body parts, and we knew instantly what we needed to do. 
reverse crucifixion. Paul's right leg on the cross and the final leg. But his body parts were sliced cleanly. Paul? Paul, you are complete now. <laughs> Paul? Hello, Paul. Hey, bud. <laughs> he was not pleased that we brought him back t to life. <gasps> Paul, what the heck happened to you? I have to run. Maybe I can reach my car. Oh! Hey, Paul. Um, what happens if you get me, though? Just curious. Okay, it just restarts. Ah! Oh, Paul. <laughs> oh, Paul. I don't know where my car is. I never saw a car. I have to run. Maybe I can reach my car. And by run, I mean don't run because we can't actually run. Good thing he's a slow moving zombie. <laughs> Foolish, Paul. You should have been more athletic in life. Because now in death, even I can outrun you. <laughs> I'm just going to follow the candles. I'm assuming they lead straight to my car. Into the line and no car. I have no idea where my car is. I can just run into the woods. That's an invisible wall. Oh, oh dear. Oh, is that car? Oh, that is car. Oh, what fortune favors us. Luck has smiled on us this day. Our car is definitely not trapped. I made it. Or did we? The oh. <laughs> okay, we did make it. <laughs> very good, very good. And there you have it, guys. That is Paul's Lost Remains. A short game to be sure, but sometimes that just be how it be. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and a comment and let me know what you guys thought of this game. If you're new here and you enjoyed this, perhaps subscribe and leave a like before moving on to the next video. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. You've been awesome. This is John Red signing off. Good night and good morning.